Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Here, the purpose is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today's topic is intuition. Is everybody psychic? Is everybody intuitive? Now, the word psychic and the word intuitive are very different. Can you feel the difference between the energy of these words? Words have vibration and therefore bring energy meaning to them. Psychic and intuition. Intuition is much more socially acceptable. It's actually in personal development. Now you can read personal development books or hear great TED Talks that talk about the topic of intuition. It's really mainstream. The concept though of psychic still seems a bit mystical, medieval, and kind of out there, which is probably why I choose to utilize that word specifically to talk about myself because I'd love to bust the myths and the stereotypes around the concepts of labels and ideas around psychic. So yes, everybody is intuitive. Let's talk about intuition. Intuition is a relationship within yourself. Everybody has a spirit, you have a soul. And intuition is basically your soul connection, your soul communication channel. So you can channel your own spirit. That's basically, you guys, that's basically what I do when I'm in session with you. Remember, I'm a medium and a psychic, and so I channel. Well, I channel your soul. I hear your spirit, and you can too. It just takes practice, commitment, and it does not take, it's not difficult. It is not difficult. It doesn't take like intensive discipline or a 10-week course, or you don't have to invest in someone else to teach you how to do that. You can do it yourself with some simple daily practices. It's got to be consistent. It's got to have commitment and you've got to do it. You just got to do it. And if you fall off the wagon, it's not like an exercise program. You can just get right back on. <laughs> it's not, it's not supposed to be something that's hard to do or, or a struggle for you. Some mountain to climb. Intuition is having a relationship with your soul where you speak a language or you you sense feel language so it's not in traditional terms you may not hear actually physically hear in clairaudient terms that's the psychic term for psychic hearing is clairaudient and you may not actually hear but we use the term here because it is a language and it's a sensing or a feeling and that is a language and that's the language of energy the language of energy gives us sensations or feelings and you oftentimes within your physical body and that helps to communicate how your soul is is interpreting the information or is responding to your request for guidance and so it takes practice to tune into that but again it's not something that's outside of you it's inside of you and because of that it is a personal relationship that you develop that you nurture within your spirit. It takes commitment, just like any relationship does. It takes consistency. You gotta show up for your soul, right? And it also takes practice. So you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna have the same experience as every time you ask yourself for guidance, but you, you have to consistently, continuously ask so that then you notice, you notice, you become aware of the patterns of how you feel how your body is responding, how the energy feels within you and around you. That's your soul speaking to you. Now, in intuitive, intuitive terms, in psychic work and session, when I hear the voice of your soul, it whispers. You've probably heard that. That's a popular term to use for your soul's voice. Your soul whispers. And that's a really good description because it's very subtle. It's like a graceful energy. It's a calming, a very subtle voice. And sometimes it's so subtle, it's hard to know, is this a yes, is this a no? Oftentimes it's if you don't feel a strong sense of something, of a movement forward or of a standing still, then it's simply a not right now. It's a not, not now. If you don't get a response, then it's a not now. It's a non-action. Just to give you one example kind of of sensory or sensing in building this energetic language, this spiritual connection that you have within yourself, using your own, own relationship with your own soul. Okay, again, this is not outside of you. You don't have to go outside of you and ask angels and guides to help you or 
um, a coach or a psychic to help you. You can do this yourself and there's plenty of free resources available to you that there's just a huge variety of resources available to you to be able to search, find, and discover what really works best for you. And you gotta try some different things out. And the same things aren't gonna work every time. The same techniques or practices or approaches aren't gonna work every time because you're gonna grow, you're gonna evolve. Think of it like, like learning a foreign language. It takes time. It takes time. All right, so that's just some inf basic information about intuition. Remember, you are a spirit and you are the wisest guide for your own self, for your own life. You are the expert of your life. It just takes commitment, consistency, and practice to build the relationship, to nurture the relationship that you have with your soul. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Remember, the goal here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. If you're interested in the work that we do here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a weekly channel. And I look forward to being part of the journey and to hearing from you as well. Please be sure to like, share, and comment on this video if you'd like to see more like it. Thanks for being here.